hello guys welcome to quantum mechanics course this particular lecture is regarding what we are going to cover in this quantum mechanics what are the scopes of this particular course what we will you learn and what is the syllabus that we are going to follow and so on and so forth i am dr kiran sunone and this course will be posted on kgs physics academy youtube channel what methodology we are going to follow for this particular course in this particular course i am not going to spoon feed you but i mean you have a much more larger responsibility as compared to me you have to solve the problems then if you have find any difficulties in those problem you have to revert back to me so basically what we are going to do is first i am going to explain you a particular concept based on that particular concept i am going to give you some problems you have you need to solve those particular problems and once you solve those particular problems you will encounter some difficulties those difficulties will be cleared in our discussion sessions is it clear why i am going to do something like this is because see <clears throat> when i explain something to you 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 think that you understood that particular thing okay but there are many intricate elements of quantum mechanics which require a high degree of knowledge and that particular high degree of knowledge comes when you solve problems so my emphasis will be more on problem solving and once you understand the concept thoroughly you will be able to apply this particular knowledge to, for some applications what i mean by application is not some experimental application but you can solve many problems after completion of this particular course what should be your course outcome you will be confidently able to solve any problems in quantum mechanics this will help you in preparation for net set examination gate examinations and so on and so forth in short this course will totally be focusing on problem solving what are the books that i am going to follow so basically i am going to follow these five books the first book is zetli quantum mechanics concept and application by zetli the second book that i am going to follow is introduction to quantum mechanics by dj griffith i am going to follow second edition and the uh, third book that i am going to follow is quantum mechanics by kohen tanoji there are three volumes of this particular book but we are mostly i am going to follow volume number 1 so whatever i will be going to cover in this particular course will be covered in volume number 1 and i am also going to use two more books principles of quantum mechanics by r shankar and quantum mechanics by shift a lot of portion will be covered from zetli griffith and kohen donoji and very small portion will be covered from r shankar and leonardo shift i have broadly divided the syllabus into five parts the first part is mathematical tools in quantum mechanics okay. the second you can call it as a unit the first unit is mathematical tools in quantum mechanics the second unit will be formalism of quantum mechanics third unit will be wave function and time independent schrodinger equation and this will include one dimensional problems like particle in a box oscillator and so on and so forth then the fourth unit will be angular momentum and the last unit will be identical particles and action interactions so let's look at details of this particular unit so the first unit mathematical tools in quantum mechanics in this particular unit we will be discussing about vector spaces what are bragg and kate notations then what is a vector algebra how to take inner product and so on and so forth using bracket notations then what are the basis what is basic independent vector spaces if you understand this particular vector spaces you will require a minimum amount of mathematics so most of the time without integration and differentiation you can solve many problems and the last thing that we are going to do is probability so as you know that quantum mechanics is a probabilistic mechanic so knowledge of probability is very important so this will be a very sh short part then the next unit is formalism of quantum mechanics we will be studying the basic postulates and these basic postulates are based on three questions so whenever you study any mechanics you ask three questions the first question is how can you describe the system so basically how can you describe the state of a system that's the first question 
the second question is how do you calculate the measurable quantities measurable quantities like velocity momentum and so on and so forth that you can measure those quantities how you measure or calculate those particular quantities that's the second question and the last question is if i know the state of a system at this particular time what will be the state of system after some time so prediction based on the current situation what will happen after some time that prediction so based on this particular three questions the postulates of quantum mechanics will be discussed okay so the first question that we are going to answer using basic postulates is how quantum states are described the second question that we are going to answer is how to calculate physically measurable quantities and the last question that we are going to answer using basic postulate is knowing the state of a system how to find the state at later time in order to answer these three questions there are five postulates of quantum mechanics and that we will be discussing in this particular chapter the next unit will be then wave function and time independent Schrodinger equation and this will also include one dimensional problem so basically we will be covering what is the relation between uh, vectors and wave functions so uh, you will understand after discussing that the second unit formalism formalism of quantum mechanics that basically in quantum mechanics everything is vectors so what is the wave function and what are the relation of these wave function with respect to vector that's that's the first thing that we are going to discuss and then to solve schrodinger equation so in this particular thing we'll be studying about boundary value problems so how to apply boundary conditions and all those things that will be covered and then the methods to solve quantum problem and its implications so basically how to solve the quantum mechanical problem and uh, whatever result that we obtain after solving the quantum mechanical problem how it is different from the classical counterpart so whatever result we obtain how they are different from the classical counterpart that we're going to discuss the last unit will be uh, sorry the next unit will be on angular momentum and in this particular case we will be studying about what is angular momentum what is spin and uh, total angular momentum solution of angular momentum problem so basically we will be introducing angular momentum quantum mechanical angular momentum how this angular momentum vectors is represented in a matrices form and how we can manipulate those matrices and solve the problems then the last unit will be on identical particle and exchange interactions this is the most important chapter because many times you might have wondered why there is distinction like fermions and bosons why not only fermions what is the basis of this particular distinction that is the one thing the second thing is from uh, your 12th standard you are learning about Pauli's exclusion principle what is the basis of that Pauli's exclusion principle nobody has told you that we will be learning the basis of this Pauli's exclusion principle in this particular thing so in this particular unit we will be learning about exchange interaction and based on the exchange interaction you will be able to answer the origin of fermions and bosons why some particles are fermions why some particles are bosons that you are going to uh, that you will be able to answer and the last thing that you will be able to answer is origin of Pauli's exclusion principle why Pauli's exclusion, uh, exclusion principle exists and why it is applicable only for fermions and not for bosons so that will be our syllabus uh, if time permits uh, we will discuss further about the different approximation methods so let's see how much time this uh, completion of this pi unit will take and if you are interested and if time permit we will discuss about the approximation methods as well so thank you your comments and suggestions are welcome please subscribe to kgs physics academy for new videos